Hey, hey, Taurus. It's your girl, Lay, coming back to you with another pick a card reading. So this is for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on with you? What's going to continue going on with you in June 2019? So Taurus season just ended. I hope you enjoyed your birthday. Um, yeah, so I've already laid out the cards. I've shuffled and picked out the cards. Um, so... All right, let's just get right into it. Now, I'm going to be real with you, Taurus. When I first started laying down these cards, I'm, I was thinking, you're going through some shit. I don't know how else to put this. You're going through some shit. You're going through it. Life is not being kind to you right now. Um, Or I will say rather... It has not been kind to you. So, you uh, just recently went through some tower moment, some life changing, eye opening tower disaster moment, and it shook you up. It really shook you up. The good thing is, you're coming out of this energy, you're moving on from this energy, and I really don't think you'll be carrying that on into June. Um, yeah, I feel like new things are happening. Uh, some new opportunities, some new adventures happening. And we're going to leave this tower energy behind. Interestingly, interestingly enough, the tower also came out with a different deck. So um, I really think that this, uh, this moment really changed your perspective on life. I do think that it was concerning home life. Um, maybe you were evicted or maybe you just fell behind on rent or maybe you had to move suddenly or something related to home, maybe family. Um, but in June, um, that unstable energy, that uh, lack of security, that lack of abundance is it's leaving us okay Taurus we're moving on to bigger and better things and as we move into June 2019 don't feel like you have to do things in an underhanded way the seven of swords is a very sneaky person um I won't say sneaky so much as extremely brilliant um and brilliant people like to do things in the quickest best way sometimes that way involves cheating or being sly and cunning i think of slytherin the house of slytherin if you're a harry potter fan i think of slytherin <laughs> i see the seven of swords so don't think that you have to do things in an underhanded way um going into june you can be open and honest you can trust that this tower energy is behind you you can trust that new and better things are going to happen for you. In order to do that, though, you have to have faith, blind faith. We can see this fool here. This fool is literally about to fall off a cliff. Common sense is yelping at him. This dog named Common Sense is like, look where you're going, okay? Like, what are you doing? It's a cliff. Stop, 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 stop. But the fool doesn't care. The fool has blind faith. And the fool's faith in himself, in his journey, is so strong that even though we can't see the rest of this card, it could very well be a cliff. But the fool's faith is so strong. When he steps off of this cliff, maybe this cliff is not even a cliff. Maybe it's just two or three feet down. He's fine. Or maybe, just maybe, some great bird will come and swoop from underneath him and catch him because that's how great his faith is he doesn't see the pitfalls and the negative obstacles and his strong will his strong optimism really creates that positive outcome for him so i need you to be the fool this month and you know trust that the past is in the past so moving on to bigger and better things i also feel like there's been a lot of fighting in your life. Um, this can be literal fighting um, with family, family conflict, family or friends. 
and not just fighting with family and friends i feel like there's a lot of fighting within yourself with the creative belts this is a new deck i don't really use this often it's very beautiful though so i feel like these bells are like a wake-up call to you these bells are sounding and telling you that hello wake up wake up i feel like you're you haven't been listening to yourself you haven't been listening to your inner self you've been downing yourself and that's probably uh what spurred this entire moment so in 2019 we're we're not we're gonna stop the inner conflict the outer conflict and we're going to be masters of following our hearts masters of listening to ourselves listening to our uh emotions our true desires let's move on to this is the seven of pentacles yes so seven of pentacles in reverse uh to me always shows me that something didn't come to fruition something that you put a lot of work and energy into did not bear the fruit you wanted it did not the investment did not um turn out how you envisioned and all that work all that hard work you put in um the fruit that came from it was not equal to all the effort you put into it and i think because of that you're stuck in this four cups energy you're sad thinking about everything you've lost you know and you're not seeing the the new opportunity you're not seeing the the positive light that can come from this situation you're just focused on this loss you're trying to get it back you know you're trying to fish for it back but i i feel like something new is coming for you so this could be a relationship also or a marriage or something that is not working out for you i'm also going to look at the book for this because i love i love i love this little white book this is like the best little white book i've ever had so let's look at the seven of pentacles first it says things are starting to come together each part has been carefully tended and arranged just so now is the time to step back, observe, and decide. Is it exactly as you hoped? If not, what can you change? And I feel like it wasn't exactly as you hoped. It does it didn't um, pan out the way you want it to. And now it's time to move on from that stuck energy, like the Eight of Cups says, and look at what can you change? What can you do? What can you control? You know, what did you learn from this tower moment? What did it teach you? What wisdom did you gain? What can you change now? What can you do now? Think about moving forward with that full energy. Um, let's see. I hope this makes sense. It might not resonate with everyone. Four of Cups. What do you think of someone who keeps looking for what she already has? <laughs> yeah, me too. Let me see you trying to see you see why i love this book what do you think of someone who keeps looking for what she already has she already has cups a cup right here and this full is waiting for her but she's focused on these other cups what do you think of someone who keeps looking for what she already has he doesn't even answer the question it just says yeah me too you you think they're pretty foolish that's all um, you think that they're not too bright. I'm not, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but I'm just saying, and you're, you're the bull, Taurus, you're stubborn. So being fixated on something that didn't pan out, um, it's only hurting you. It's only hurting you. You need to realize, you need to change your perspective and realize this tower moment was a blessing in disguise. You need to focus on what you have. You already have everything you need to, to bounce back from this, to get what you truly want. You already have it. Don't ignore it. 
Um, again, so with the uh, rhino spear, that's what came out to you. These horns are sticking out to me. This is a, you have a tenacious spirit. Of course, you're the bull, you're Taurus, and you can overcome any obstacle. When it's in reverse, again, I feel like those obstacles were represented with that, those tower card, the tower card. You can overcome anything, but I feel like now you're doubting that ability in June 2019. I want to see this rhino spirit upright. I want to see your self-belief in yourself. I want to see your full confidence and faith in yourself that you can turn anything around. You can overcome anything. And I'm going to read from the book in a second. I'll get right back to that. So another way to uh, bounce back from whatever this time moment is in June 2019 is to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire. Use positive affirmations. Now, I know this sounds like a lot of BS. Everybody's always like, oh, just think positive, you know, see the positive. And that can come off as really condescending. And frankly, it's annoying AF when people tell you to just think positive. Like, I'm sure you probably already tried it. But this is saying, like, with affirmations, it's basically, you know, when you tell yourself something every single day or, you know, a couple of times a day, you're going to start to believe it. Whether it's something negative, like, oh, I'm so stupid, or something positive, like, oh, I'm so beautiful. If you keep telling yourself it over and over, after a while, you're, you're going to start to believe it. So... I know your reality now may not look like you want it to look, but in June 2019, I need you to tell yourself a different story. I need you to tell yourself that I can overcome anything. I need you to tell yourself that I am ascending to a higher level. I need you to tell yourself that I can. Yes, I can. I can do this, okay? And even if you don't believe it yet, fake it till you make it. You tell yourself this enough times you will believe it you will create it and you can definitely create that in june so your uh your problem could be a family matter again it could be concerning your daughter or your children your family life maybe a, a marriage didn't work out or some family issue honestly i feel like i'm leaning more towards like inner childhood issues like you know those past childhood wounds those past traumas that happened to you when you were young i feel like um this uh tower moment was uh had to deal with that too so just like a lot of family conflict and yeah the master so i feel like spirit is telling you you need to be the master you are in control of your life. You are the master of your fate. You are the captain of your soul. Yada, yada. You need to embody this master. You see his beard is long and white because he has the experience. He has gained the experience, the knowledge to overcome any obstacle. You have done it before. You have gotten through serious hard issues. You've done it before. And you can do it again, okay? You just have to tap into your faith, your belief, and your experience. Because you've done it before. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I don't think this is concerning, like, romantic love. I think it's concerning just um, you not being your true self. You not expressing, you know what you really think, what you really feel, and you just holding it all in. No, no, sweetie, no but no. Express yourself, express your true feelings in June 2019, all right? Let's see what this overcome any obstacle with the protection, protection message is, and then that will wrap up your reading. This is number 50. Ooh, number 50. Mm, 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 mm. 59. Bear with me. Bear with me. Got it. All right. Rhino spirit. So the protection message, which is the reverse message, is 
The appearance of an obstacle in front of you offers you a choice. Barrel into it and bang your head or find your easiest way around it and don't fight it. Are you exhausted by your efforts to break through an obstacle? Are you stubbornly insisting that there's only one way to remove it from your path? Rhino Spirit is here to tell you that sometimes the answer is no. Sometimes it is no, not yet. And sometimes it is no, not the way you think it should be. Open to new possibilities and you will find other options begin to appear. Not every conflict is worth engaging in and not every obstacle is worth resisting head on. Don't waste energy banging your head against the wall. Mm -hmm. So redirect your energy into something new. Taurus, I hope this resonated for you and I wish you the best of luck in June 2019. Thank you for watching.